How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. This is part two of the Nathan Kemp MTV Cribs edition. Popped open the garage here and we're going to take the old ripper out. That's right. Be the first time on the channel actually firing it up and toying around with it a little bit. Can't do too much because it is wet out here from the snow and the rain. He doesn't want to tear up his yard because he's crying a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah. But we will fire it up, rip it up the street a little bit, and he'll talk about it and go over it and why he's bought it and all that. So it's enough of us talking. Let's fire her up. It's cold out here, fellas. It's like 20 degrees, so I'll probably be a little angry. moments later. She's pretty loud for a ATV. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to fall here. Oh. Man, she's pretty quick. Jeez. That's pretty impressive. That's the first time I've really seen him rip it. That's one way to warm up your hands. That's right. Just don't smell them or eat with them now. That was the first time I really saw you rip it. That thing moves. Oh yeah. Moves for a thousand pounds. <laughs> there it is. 2019 KM XMR 1000 Outlander. Now this is actually the second quad video we did, but we only did one on the other quad because you traded it for something else that you still don't have. You got rid of that now to get this. Yeah. So you a crotch you, rocket. I I couldn't get on it without going uh triple digits, we'll just say that way. And uh We didn't get any videos filmed with that because we'd probably need a shovel to scrape them off the road. Oh yeah. We'd have to go down to Mexico for that anyways. Yep. But jump back to the first quad. Yeah. You might great. as well start from the beginning. What did you have and just go up from the line till we got to this beast? Had a 2006 LTR 450. 
And then I traded that for a 09 YZ450F Supermoto. Then I traded the Supermoto for the uh, YFZ450, which we have one video on. Then I bought the crotch rocket, sold the crotch rocket, and sort of put that money, towards, some of it, towards this at least. So jumping on to the main point of why you bought this, why do you use it? Why'd you need it? I uh, definitely needed something uh, four-wheel drive with a rack because a uh, bunch of hunting land out here, big into hunting. So you sling any over the back yet? Yeah, it had uh, two on it so far. So so it is getting put to use. It's not just a little woods toy. Yeah, the uh, archery buck you guys saw in the middle, the, the one in the middle, I should say. Had to use the winch, winch through some trees to uh, harvest or uh, go and pick up the deer that was deep in the brush. You know, if you guys, I haven't really gone hunting. I do have my safety course done so I could get a license if I ever wanted to. I do more fishing than anything, but I know the bulk of our channel is automotive and truck stuff. But if you guys want to see any like hunting or you'll probably be the main one filming that or like fishing videos or anything like that. If you guys have an interest in that and you want to see some videos on it, maybe we can branch off into that. Yeah, we can give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, we're always looking for new content to film what does good, what doesn't do too good. But we just put out anything because I know viewers will watch it regardless. Some people like more stuff than others. I know the bulk of our viewers are here because of the trucks, yep. the, your trucks. But that'll pretty much do it on the quad, I think. Is there anything else about it you want to... You want to uh, say it's pretty stock other than we got some two inch spacers on there and uh we've got some pile speakers they are definitely loud they're pretty bougie <laughs> uh got the storage box in the back we've got the speaker uh plug in the on off switch for it uh just the mbrp exhaust i did lose the cone tip somewhere in the woods it ended up breaking off or something and it does got a trunk so which is full of ratchet straps at the moment where'd you find it what squad yeah uh we got that extreme down in brilliant ohio i believe is what it was did you go shopping for it or did you see it online uh i actually was getting a uh 1000 renegade right down the street from here at the dealership and they sold it from under me the day before. Uh, gotta so, hate when that happens. End up uh, driving an extra hour and picked up this, which was sort of better in my situation because it had a bigger rack on the back. Worked out your benefit. Yep. Same year and it had uh, 400 less miles on it, so. These do miles or hours? They do both. Oh, nice. Maybe when it gets a little warmer out here and you hose her off and clean her up, I'll uh, spend the time and do a cinematic edit on it. Yeah. Not not that it would probably do that well, but maybe some people would be interested in seeing that. Sure, there's a few Can-Am guys out there. Yeah. We'll get a picture for the gram. If you guys aren't following our Instagram, I'll tag it down below. Be sure and go check that out. We're trying to grow that as well, along with the YouTube. Yep. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this Can-Am video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos on it, let us know what you want to see, what you want us to do with it. Maybe we'll put some utility tests to work with it, you know, give us some ideas. But it is getting a little cold out here. We're going to wrap up this video and jump on to the next one. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're new. And if you guys are returning, thank you. You know, we couldn't have done this without you, you know. We're still a relatively small YouTube channel, but we're trying to grow it. Really want to get dedicated this year and upload a lot more. I know that's my biggest downfall is being consistent and pumping out content on a regular basis. I know you hound me for it all the time. You've been trying to get me out here for a while to oh, yeah. do these videos with you. And I know a lot of you guys have missed Nate, so I'm happy to be out here to give you guys some updates. And it's been pretty fun so far. We've got a couple more to film while I'm out here. But I guess we'll just... Sign off with the usual, and we'll catch you in the next one. We'll be going over the comments, and I know that's the ones you guys want to see. But thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Always accelerate, and don't look back. See you next time.
Get out. Get out. Closing up shop. Yep. Those are the, the Dooley brothers. Those are the ones that sleep under the truck? Yep. And I know they want to sleep in here. Well, it's probably warmer in there. They want to sleep under the third gen. Well, you pick one up and try to get them to go under there. Yeah, you can't get them. You can't pick them up. Watch, they'll run. <laughs> what, so they roost up under there? Right on top of something. Oh yeah, you can see they've been uh, pooping up there. Yeah, that's like the third time I sprayed it off. So we're just giving up on it until I start driving the truck again. Yeah. They own it for now. They got some nice grease on their feet. 